what's going on everybody um just checking in a little bit um i wanted to talk about the whole thing um now i don't know the lady named tommy the white lady um she had the stuff to say about beyonce and super bowl performance and then went on to um say that the black panthers were like the kkk which i personally totally disagree with that i'm like wait a minute now last i knew which don't get me wrong because i'm not one of those people who know everything about the black panther movement but what i do know is that the kkk they went out like their intentions were to just randomly kill you know um black people you know and um they were covered up due to the fact that they were like police officers um people like in the government different things like that whatever but from my understanding i'm like hmm okay this lady crazy so then because i've really been quiet about that kind of stuff and so um i did also see um donkey of the day Charlemagne. um he gave her donkey of the day because of the type of comments that she was making um i saw how she said that the beehive and the black lives matter attacked her and all of that and i'm just like okay you know but um, yesterday, I saw that Charlemagne and the Lady Tommy actually had a, a sit down on her show, and she was kind of like she was trying to go in on him. You know what I'm saying? But I can't say Charlemagne. Sometimes I feel like he goes, um, he do the most. But I do, you know, I, I listen to the donkey of the day regularly. Um, so, you know, I like to hear what he has to say. And I was kind of glad that he kind of spoke up on that situation because she had him on there because she was mad because she was the donkey of the day, which I think she deserved that title. But, um, yeah, he really stood up and he made sense. Like, I'm like, when I first seen, like, saw that he had sat down with her, I'm like, oh, shit. I hope he able to hold his own and don't sound, you know, simple or ignorant, you know. But um, he, he kind of held it together. I think that everybody should go watch it. Um, he basically was saying the same things that I was thinking. Like, um, no, you cannot com compare, you know, the Black Panthers with um the kkk there's no comparison like those people were fucking terrorists they ass was purposely going to kill people the black panthers wasn't on that you know what i'm saying they were trying to help the community and then like charlamagne main said if necessary they would use you know violence but they didn't go out you know burning crosses in people backyards um, hanging people just randomly doing what the fuck they wanted to do like that you know what I'm saying they were their violence was more of trying to protect you know what I'm saying so yeah I really enjoyed that uh and I think that everybody should watch it you know what I'm saying and then like she was trying to I like how he stood up because she was sitting up there talking about how Jay-Z was a drug dealer or whatever you know what I'm saying and I guess people who don't know or don't know anything about that lifestyle, um, I think, like, I think that Jay-Z, I can admire him for that because, um, for me, coming from my background and going from selling drugs, using drugs, selling drugs, you know what I'm saying, into trying to become a productive citizen you know what i'm saying that shit is hard that is hard like literally right now i'm still trying to get myself you know together and it's hard to go from fast money to slow money so for him to be able to leave that alone and do something better and become a productive citizen I, you know what i'm saying I, you know I admire him for that. And I think that she didn't have no right. That didn't have nothing to do with what was going on. Beyonce freaking uh, 
married to Jay-Z does not have anything to do with, um, you know, that she shouldn't have brought that up, basically. She shouldn't have brought that up in that whole little segment of her trying to go in on Beyonce and then bring up what her husband did, number one. And number two, don't just talk about him. He used to be a drug dealer because that shit was a long time ago. And I'm quite sure by now he has probably been a productive citizen longer than he had ever sold drugs. So, you know, I mean, like I said, I'm not really one to get into all of that. But, you know, I was glad that um, he went on there and he, you know what I'm saying, said what a lot of us were thinking. Anyhow... I'm on my little break, my little lunch break. I'm supposed to be back in class. So, I'm going to end this video. Um, if you guys have not seen it, um, go watch it. I know Lovely T, she um, posted the video up of Charlemagne with the lady. And make sure you watch the whole video. And make sure you watch it from somewhere where they're not trying to cut parts out to make him sound or to make her sound you know what i'm saying if you watch it go and watch the full video i think it was about i think it was under 20 minutes over 15 but under 20 minutes. i don't know but anyhow let me go on and get up out of here you guys have a good day um i will be trying to come back more often basically life has showed up so you know what i'm saying i got to handle my life and what's going on in my life um but we'll talk about that a little bit later anyhow bye